Hi guys and welcome to Orthodox America. In today's video I'm going to go through the feast for August 17th which in the um, old calendar would be August uh, 3rd which is the feast of the seven sleepers of Ephesus. So I'm going to first show you the back. Oh sorry it should be August 4th old cal uh, in the old calendar and August 17th in the Gregorian. They're also celebrated on the 22nd of October uh, old calendar and then new calendar November 4th and it's in this is the troparian in Russian in tone 4. And these are the seven sleepers of Ephesus and that's a little bit of a closer detailing of them. So the seven youths of Ephesus uh, their names are Maximilian, Gemblicus, Martitian, John Dionysius, Exa Custodian, or Constantine, and Antononius, and Saint Maximilian. I'm going to put this back down here and just read a very brief story about um, these very interesting saints um, called the Seven Sleepers of Ephesus. So Max, Saint Maximilian was the son of a high-ranking city administrator of Ephesus, and his companions were all sons of other high-ranking city officials. When the Emperor Odysseus from 249 to 251 AD ordered everyone in the town to worship the pagan idols, uh, they refused, and when they announced that they were Christian, all of their military and civil honors were taken from them, but they were released. They went to a cave on Mount Aklonos, and the emperor heard of this and had the seven youths sealed in the cave. A recording of the event was also sealed in the outside of the cave, and the youths went to sleep for two centuries. The cave was opened later as a result of construction in the area in the 5th century AD, and at that point, persecution against Christianity had ceased in the region. So they were sealed into this cave. A edict was pasted on the front of the cave um, because they were Christians and they were persecuted at the time, and then later on, the construction resulted in um, them opening up the cave. At this point, the persecution of Christianity was not happening. However, a heresy had occurred um, in the church, Orthodox Christianity, um, and saying that um, it was a heresy doubting the existence of the resurrection. The seven youths then woke from their sleep, while, uh, which astonished those living in the town, and their clothes and bodies were completely untouched, unharmed, from the two centuries or so, might have been around 250 years that they lay sleeping in the cave. They then converted the village back to original Orthodox Christianity, and they laid back down in the cave again and died. Um, and this is why the seven youths are often referred to as the seven sleepers, uh, and the seven sleepers of Ephesus. They're often depicted together, as shown here in iconography, um, kind of sleeping, sort of sealed in the tomb. Um, the detailing on the top denotes them as the seven youths of Ephesus. Um, and again, you know, their names not necessarily assigned to each um, picture in the icon, but again, it's uh, Maximilian Jamblicus, Martitian, John Dionysius, uh, Constantine or Ex Custodian, um, and Antoninus, and that's six of them, and then St. Maximilian, who again was the son of the high-ranking city official um, in um, in around 250 AD. Um, and aspects of this um, can be verified, and I'll just also turn around the icon one last time in case you do want to, for whatever reason, um, freeze this, and then see what the troparion for the saints are um, on the top in Russian. Okay, so it's come into focus. I turned it around. I'm going to just hold it because for whatever reason, um, it's a little bit wobbly. Uh, it, the names of the, so if you want to pause it, this is the Troparian and Tone 4, Glass 4 is listed there. Um, the saints and names are given up in the top. Um, I've already kind of I said them in English, um, but like Antonon, I say Antononia, but that's actually feminine name. It is actually Antononius. Um, you know, listed there as well as um, John. Let me zoom in so you can see more clearly. So 
a bit shiny, so the autofocus struggles, I think, a little bit. i just keep it a little further away. Um, Maximilian, um, Martitian, John, Arioni, uh, and Antononius, and all of the saints are listed there um, that I already uh, described in English, and um, you have on the back the images, or I should say the front the images of the different icons. And again, this is a feast um, celebrated on uh, August 17th, um, if you, and I should say the Gregorian calendar, and uh, old calendar you would call it August 4th. So please remember to comment, like, and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have particular saints that you'd like me to do a video on, please let me know. I'm going to try to do one for every key saint comes along. Um, I can't post necessarily every day, but we'll try to do so. And over time, hopefully we'll have a whole calendar of saints um, with their corresponding stories and icons. Um, please remember to give this a uh, thumbs up and I'll see you guys again in the next video, okay? Bye!